everybody. Happy Thursday. It is I, your songwriting partner, your co-producer, and as always, your friend, Joe CB. Happy Thursday, everybody. And as everybody knows, Thursday is part of our creative writing class that we like to call Picture This. For those of you who don't know what Picture This is, it's when I show you a photograph, an image, a Google image, random picture, artistic painting, um, what have you. And I post it on this class, on this video, and you have to write a creative passage based on what you're looking at. Now, um, you know, um, I love doing this exercise. I, I hope you guys really enjoy this exercise and it makes you think things and you really get in here and really use your imagination and try to tell an imaginative story through your words, hopefully through a song. Um, I told you guys last week um, concerning the picture of this class and when we finally go to, um, when we write our words, I wouldn't mind seeing you guys try to write your own melody for that. But for now, let's just stick to writing lyrics based on the photograph that I show you guys. Well, I know, um, you know, so a lot of people still to this day ask me the question, like, why do you do that? Like, what does this do? What is this for? Well, it's a great exercise for your imagination and to visually start to put stories together based on images. Like, I always say this, and it's so, it's so true. Like, imagine you were watching a movie and someone's about to open a door, maybe, or walk out a you know walk outside you don't know what's going to happen and you hit the pause button and it's pause right as their hand touches the, the the doorknob you don't know who's at the door maybe someone rang the doorbell and they're answering the door you have no idea who it's going to be or or even what's going to happen who's behind that door after the door the doorbell rings no one knows so this is like Sort of like that. You like it's like pausing a movie, and then imagining what's going to happen, even though you haven't seen it yet. You know, you you just pause the movie, look at the image of the pause, and write down what you see. The same thing I want you to do for this. I want you to like when I show you these images. I'm not this one in particular. I mean, of course, after I show it to you, but I'm just talking about in general. I want you to really look at the picture, study the picture. And then I want you to write down everything that you see in the picture visually. And then I want you, then I want you to put your pen down. Cause then I want your imagination. I want you to go in here and daydream about the picture. Give it, give it some depth, give it some time. Give it a history, you know, bring it into your world. Right now, it's just an image you're looking at from this world to that one. But I want you to go in that one. And I want you to visualize what's happening and you're there. You're not looking at it, you're there. Um, and then get back to the pen and paper. And then start to think of artistic things like... Um, if there was a picture of a sun, let's say, you know, you could use the sunshine as, you know, not something literal, but you could make it part of like the, you know, the storyline, you know, indirectly, um, not literally, but like figuratively and use your imagination. You know, there's so many ways you can go about this, you know. But, but, you know, I don't want to give you any pointers because I want you to look at this picture and I want your imagination, I want your words, I want your heart, your mind. I want to hear what's going on up here in you so I can read it. The great thing about writing in general is it gives people around you a chance to see what goes on in your mind. You know, the beauty of like writing songs even for me is I can play a song for somebody and they're like, wow. And I'm like, yeah, this this is what goes on in my head. These, this is the music I hear and hear. 
but I had to bring it out so you guys could hear it, you know? And that's, um, that's an amazing feeling when you do that, you know? And, and you know, um, to be able to express yourself like that, to create things from nothing, or not from nothing, I mean, everything's an influence. And in this case, the picture this, of this exercise is the influence. So you're looking at something that's supposed to influence your, or kickstart your imagination, okay? So, um, I'm gonna show you the picture now. So here we go, here's the photograph. All right, so it's an interesting picture, right, you know? Like the girls, like there's birds and they're like, it looked like they're in a basement and she's kind of trying to fly towards the window, but he's got a hold of her ankle. He doesn't want her to leave. And um, I just thought the picture was cool and thought provoking and artistic. And there was a lot of, a lot of stuff in there. A lot of open-ended questions. You know, the picture for me just, throws a lot of question marks on it, you know, and I could embellish it with my imagination. Like that's the kind of a picture that you can let your imagination just go any which way you want it to go. I'll say it again, you're never wrong. There's no wrong way to do this. I'm gonna show you um, my words and what I thought of it. So I was looking at it, right? I'm like really studying the picture, looking at it. And, um, it was funny because when I was having my little daydream, when it, um, I saw him holding on to her almost like she was a balloon, right? I don't know why. That's just like she could float away. And he grabbed her so she didn't fly away. Um, and then, of course, people can't fly. So you have to make it, you can't make it literal. So you make it part of your, you know, your story. So, um, I'm going to read you what I wrote. So I, I looked, like I said, I looked at it a long time and I pictured it more of like this person is, um, chasing after this person. This person is very light and air flying away or floating away. And it's your job to contain and hold her, or him, or her there. In the picture, though, it's a woman, so, um, but it doesn't have to be in the grand scheme if you're writing a song. I like to be genderless when I write music songs anyway. Um, so, I'm going to read you what I wrote. Okay, so I wrote, we're taking one step forward. Pull me two steps back. Take my positivity and turn my blue sky black. I would never try to make you cry and never try to bring you down. And then I say it again, because it's like, you know, for me, it's a chorus, right? It could be a poem for you, but for me, it's a chorus. We're taking one step forward. Pull me two steps back. Take my positivity and turn my blue sky black. I would never try to make you cry or never try to bring you down. You only care for me when no one is around. I thought that was just kind of, you know. So like, basically the outline for me is you're constantly chasing after this person and they only seem to show reciprocation when you two are alone, when they're in mixed company, they don't want to look like they're tied to you. Like they want to be free. Like it's like they want their cake and eat it too. Like when no one's around and they're lonely, then then they need you. When there's a whole bunch of people around, they act like they don't care about you because they want to, They don't want to seem like you're tied to this person. So that's kind of like what, you know, that's my take on it. Um... 
you may have a million different takes to this, but that was my take. So, um, yeah, you know, um, tomorrow night we're going to try to write a melody for this and, uh, and we'll see how that goes. All right, guys, that is all the time we have for tonight. This is your songwriting partner, your co-producer, and as always, your friend Joe CB signing off. I can't wait to see what you wrote for that picture. Um, keep those cards and letters coming, kids. Send me a text, an email of your lyrics, or even in the comments. You can put them in the comments section of the video, however you like to do it. All right, guys, until we see each other tomorrow, have a wonderful night. I love you. I miss you. Be safe. And tomorrow night, I'm going to write a melody to this bad, this bad girl right here. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow. Peace.